guys welcome back to my channel so this video today's video is just gonna be a life update what's going on why I've been in my a what's what's been going on with me not posting why haven't I been consistent <clears throat> just you know just a life update you know you know, you know. Okay. we just gonna get into the video so y'all the reason why I've been missing honestly truly is because I feel like I was in a depression like I've never been diagnosed with depression I have been to therapists um, for other reasons outside of this but I just felt like I, I just I couldn't I wanted to everything in me wanted to post videos everything in me had I had ideas I was writing them down I couldn't get up I couldn't do anything like I literally I felt like somebody was chained me to my bed and that's where I stayed the whole month of October in my bed October to me was hell tober shit <laughs> um, so as of October 1st, 2019, I quit working for Child Protective Services. I was an investigation worker, so basically we were there to investigate child safety. I've been working for CPS for about two years now. I knew initially when I applied, I knew that that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. This was just like a stepping stone to get me to where I wanted to be. The reasons why I quit CPS, first of all, I did not enjoy the job. I talked to my supervisor right before I quit, or I put in my notice. I talked to my supervisor, and she made a good point. She said this job intensifies your mental health so not to everyone to some people i do feel like i suffer from depression from time to time depression feels like to me i literally cannot get out of bed like it's not because i'm being lazy i don't want to do anything i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to see anybody i just want to lay there all day and i'm always sad like it's just it's it's so much that goes into working for CPS that people don't understand. Like, you're not just a caseworker, you're a teacher, you're a, a, a babysitter, you're a, a parent, you're an attorney in some aspects, you're, you're all these things grouped into one. Meanwhile, over here, my life is in shambles. Like, I'm depressed over here about my career and I feel like I'm not doing well after I graduated college and I've just been suffering from heartaches and stuff. Like know but you gotta pick yourself up and be okay for somebody else like, it was just becoming too much and so I decided shit fuck it I felt like I quit my job and now like I'm worth nothing like, you know at least when I had a job I, people were like where you work I work at CPS and I was proud now people are like where you work and I'm like <laughs> well about that I'm working for myself even though I'm not doing anything after I quit my job my expectation was to immediately become this full-time YouTuber and start posting videos and making all this money and being able to support my family, starting um, my charities that I want to do and all these events that I want to plan. Like I, I, knew, I just knew that me quitting my job was going to be it. That was the reason why I was consistent on YouTube. That was the reason why all this bad stuff was happening to me. It was my job. And uh, I was thinking my mental health was going to subside and I was going to be okay. And I was going to be this super productive girl. I was going to have a morning routine and get everything done and run every day in the morning and do this and do that and do that and October was just like bitch you thought <laughs> bitch you thought because I did nothing I did nothing the whole month of October that was my expectations the reality I laid in bed for 30 days I posted one YouTube video my mental health my mental health was still prevalent probably even more prevalent because I was not doing anything and just soaking and sitting in my sorrow and and sad and, and not going anywhere and not doing anything so it definitely affected my mental health I spent a lot of money shopping I shop for clothes shoes purses I got a dog and I had a lot of people kind of like stressing me out honestly some of my um, close friends family members, friends, whatever the case may be. They kept asking me, have you been applying to jobs? Have you been applying? Have you been applying? When that wasn't my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal was to be a YouTube influencer and to take this journey. You know, I was at 10,000 subscribers. I'm like, okay, I got this. I'm finna hit 50,000 by the end of this year. We got this, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> In conclusion, to me quitting my job, I realized I need a part-time job. <laughs> Shit, I need money. <laughs> This is me being transparent. My YouTube videos, I like for them to be different. I don't like them to look like other people's videos. I don't like them to be... Alright guys, here's the tutorial. We're gonna get right into it. Here's the tutorial. Boom, 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 tutorial. Bye. I feel like that's not personable. I feel like that's not entertaining. Like, I'm a person, like, I wanna get on there and like, 
I don't know, come up with a storyline and then entertain y'all for a little bit. Like, no shade to anybody that does that. Some of my videos will be like that, but uh, some of my videos I want to, like, you know, mix and, and do other stuff. But with that comes the cost. That shit, that shit be taking forever. Forever, forever, forever. So, me thinking of this idea, putting it on paper is great and everything, but me filming it, me editing it, that shit probably, honestly, probably take 48 hours, to be honest. So that's why also it it's harder for me to get videos just out, out, out. And I don't want to stick to a schedule that's just, oh, I'm going to post three videos a week for sure, for sure. Because I go based off of my ideas. And I've written down a lot of ideas, but I need to bring them together and plan out the shit and everything. I feel like I'm getting anxiety if I tell myself or I tell my subscribers, oh yeah, I'm going to post three videos a week for sure. Another thing is I have been comparing myself to others. I know they say don't do it, but shit is hard. Like, it's hard not to compare yourself when you see somebody with the same amount of subscribers as you and they surpass you by like a whole bunch <laughs> or you have to see somebody with the same amount of subscribers or even less subscribers and they post videos and they get consistently 5,000 views, 10,000 views, 50,000 views, 30,000 views a year over here struggling to get your one, just your 1,000 just that's all I want, that's all I want but you over here just wanting 1,000 views and you can't get it this video is honestly all over the place so I've also been gaining weight, I don't know if you can tell but I've been gaining weight and I wanted to post a haul for you guys and then I've been having like I've been a size small medium for the most part of my life and now I'm like in the largest and it's just like I'm not comfortable like I feel my stomach is big I just feel uncomfortable with my weight right now so I'm not happy with that I'm not saying that I'm not gonna post a haul but that's probably what's that has been what's been holding me back from posting haul videos and showing off my whole body and everything. I said all that to say that's why I've been gone. I have been working through some stuff. Just like trying to work through all my issues. So if you haven't, if you guys haven't seen a lot from me, that's why. Please don't be mad at me. Please stay with me. Um, I promise you guys I'm going to try my hardest to post as many videos for the rest of this month as I can. I have some exciting videos for you guys. Um, but I also want to know what you guys want to see from me, so definitely put in the comment section below. Also, I want to ask you guys, how do you guys get through, you know, your times where you're depressed or you're just out of it or you're not, it's just not your month, your year. How do you guys get through those hard times where you're just struggling with your mental health or you're just struggling, period? Like, how do you guys get, those, get through those times? And I want to say thank you guys again for all the love and support and sticking with me. For those who are watching my videos, who are liking, who are subscribing, who are sharing, who are commenting. I appreciate all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I love you guys. Also, side note. Side note. Side note. <laughs> okay. I need an intro. But yeah, October was just, just not it for me. Not it. At all. At all.